हे गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम जनरी पालाजी एंड यू वाचिंग ब्यूटी बॉन्कर्स सो इट्स बीन सो लॉन्ग सिंस आई अपलोडेड अ वीडियो एंड देर आर सेवरल रीजंस व्हिच आई एम नॉट गोना गेट इनटू राइट नाउ बेसिकली आई हैड सम स्किन इश्यूज आई डिडंट वांट टू अप्लाई मेकअप सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाई एंड आल्सो आई डिडंट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ मोटिवेशन टू मेक एनी वीडियोस नाउ दैट आई डू आई जस्ट सैट डाउन टू फिल्म माय करंट फेवरेट्स वीडियो सो फी इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग व्हाट माय करंट फेवरेट्स आर इफ यू नो इंक्लूडेड मेकअप स्किन केयर हेयर केयर एंड लाइफ स्टाइल एज वेल दिस टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज इफ यू वंडरिंग वॉट्स ऑन माई लिप्स इट्स दी निक्स लिप लाइनर आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दिस शेड आई थिंक इट्स कॉल्ड टोटल पॉलर एल लीव दी लिपस्टिक डिटेल्स ऑन द स्क्रीन समवेयर इट्स दी निक्स लिप लाइनर and um the maybelline uh, the new sort of lipsticks uh, in the shade punchy so that's what is on my lips so with that being said let's get started with my favorites uh, so i'm going to start with the makeup category and i have just four uh, items in my makeup category because i haven't been doing a lot of makeup this is like you know kind of like a full phase of makeup after a very long time for me so very less number of makeup products are going to be in my favorites video today so the first one is uh, these lip oils like i haven't been actually um using a lot of lipsticks these days i've been loving using lip oils and especially these ones from alta beauty are so 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 good so these are some of the best lip oils i've ever used because if tried other brands like milani and i feel that this one is like a lot better and i've also received some samples from sephora and i like these ones better and these are like some 9 or 10 dollars i have three shades although the shade doesn't show up that much except for this one the darkest one these two pretty much look transparent i have the shades the transparent one is called i don't know what shades i have i can leave it on the screen somewhere and also i can you know swatch it on my hands as well i'm going to do that uh, so you can see the swatches as well so these are super nourishing super hydrating and uh, it lasts very very long and uh, my lips feel nice and nourished if i wear these lip oils it's like super awesome and especially you know i kind of do the trick where i use aqua for like vaseline or aqua for on my lips petroleum jelly basically and then i top it off with this lip oil and the hydration lasts much longer so these are amazing really really love them so there are two base products that i end up using all the time i do not want to apply a lot of even light to medium coverage foundation for some reason so i have been using this particular corrector which is pretty much pretty much sufficient when it comes to my base it covers up all the dark circles uh, darkness around my mouth and you know that's pretty much it uh, it kind of takes care of evening out my face for me uh, i've done a whole review on this like i compared it to the flower beauty one this is so 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 good you guys i have the shade um, peach dark peach i have the shade dark peach and this is such a great great product i already have a backup this is like you know i've used it a lot it's like beaten to death so i really really like this it's such a nice emollient hydrating thing and the color is perfect it's not too orange it's not too light peach that it won't even do anything for my dark circles this is like a perfect shade for me the shade dark peach if you're like if you have deeper darker circles than i do then you can try another shade which is uh, you know just a little bit darker than this it's like a light orangey sort of sort of shade so you can definitely try that one as well the formulation is great everything is great really really love it and uh, the next product is this uh, elf halo glow liquid filter so this one is like quite new to me honestly but whenever i want to apply a base product i've been reaching out for this it has a little bit of coverage and it looks super glowy today I'm, i i kid you not i do not have any highlighter on it's all this product you can see it's super glowy super nice and it feels like so natural on the skin like you can see i only have this and the bobby brown corrector as my base today and you can see for yourself how nice it looks and this is like a little bit of artificial artificial light and natural light like combination of those two um that i'm using for today's video anyway this particular product is so great it comes with like a doe foot applicator i know it's like comparable to the charlotte tilbury something something uh, base product but i haven't tried that product but this one is so great it's like 14 dollars and i found this on target i guess 
I'm not sure if I found it on Target or Amazon. I think I got it from Target. It's such a nice product. Oh no, it's available on Ulta. It's now available on Ulta, guys. You can pick it up there as well. This is so good. I really, really like it. And I have the shade uh, medium. Yeah, my shade is 4 medium. Matches me so well. It Even if you like go one shade lighter or darker, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have so much coverage. It's like a nice natural sort of a finish. So love it. And the last makeup product that I've been constantly using is a mascara and I really really like this one. This is the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. I have like four mascaras or something at the moment and I have not been using all of those mascaras. I've been reaching out and grabbing this more than the others and I really really like it. Uh, I like it better than the Lash Princess honestly. Uh, I have a smoky eye today, kind of like a smoky eye today so I'm not sure how well you can see uh, how this mascara performs but it's really nice it gives me the right amount of volume right amount of length and it looks really really nice well for a very nice natural look it's not too dramatic or anything really really like it and the bristles are also like nice and overall awesome it's very cheap as well it's like under five dollars for sure uh, let's talk about some skincare favorites now i told you in the beginning of the video that i had major skin skin issues like Mostly I was breaking out here all the time. It was so bad. It was painful. And uh, I used the Adapalene 0.1% from the brand Different. That helped me a lot. I used it every single day. And in addition to that, my skin became super sensitive. Like if there is any skincare product that has fragrance, my skin starts to burn. So I was using uh, some fragrance free products except one. Uh, I'm one of these like everything else is fragrance free and it helped me it helped help to calm my skin down and hydrate it well so the first product i'm going to be talking about is a face wash this is the cerave foaming facial cleanser this is an awesome cleanser it's like very very gentle but um, i also use the hydrating cleanser that was much more gentle and uh, i would use it in the morning if i had done my skincare properly in the night then i would use the hydrating cleanser if not i'll use the foaming cleanser um, both of them are great the hydrating one is also super super nice and gentle this is also very nice if you like a foamy type of cleanser go for this the hydrating one doesn't foam at all so if you want that you know lather a little bit of lather for me type then try this uh, if your skin is super 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 sensitive then try the hydrating one and the next one is this toner from peach slices it's called the snail rescue blemish busting toner i don't know if it helped with blemish or not but this was so freaking hydrating it was so so good like you can see i've used like so much of it it's so nice in the morning and uh kind of like I, I don't like to apply moisturizer directly on my cleansed face i need some hydrating lightweight sort of a serumy product so i started using this and this is so 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 nice and hydrating really really nice it, it doesn't even have a fragrance i'm not sure if it's fragrance free yeah it's fragrance free it's alcohol free it, it didn't burn my skin it was very very nice and soothing and the moisturizer that oh my god this is such a great moisturizer. This has helped me a lot. This is the Vani Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer for sensitive skin. This is so good, you guys. Uh, this has uh, no fragrance, no parabens, uh, all those. It's non-comedogenic and all of that stuff. It's so nice. It, it It's like a very um, lotion-y consistency. It's not like a thick balm. It feels lightweight on the skin. At the same time, it hydrates it so well. I don't know how generally thicker, uh, you know, heavier balms hydrate your skin so well. But this one is like both hydrating and it's like lightweight, absorbs so nicely onto the skin. Really like it. Did not irritate my skin at all. So highly recommend this. And um, for eye cream, I actually like the Inky List Caffeine Under Eye Cream that does not have any fragrance. Uh, it's very nice and soothing. Uh, however, this is also great. This did irritate my under eyes when I had that skin issue. Otherwise, on other days, like after 
uh, I was done with those skin issues I started using this and this one is really really nice and hydrating it does have a little bit of fragrance it's called the banana bright eye cream I'm not sure if I see a difference in my under eye circles or bags or anything but it's super super hydrating I really like it uh, the texture is also nice and thin it's not like one of those thick eye creams that you know make you sleep uh, this one is nice uh, thin texture so amazing I really like this and uh, the lip balm thing uh, lip balm or lip therapy type of thing that i always always use is aquaphor this is so so good i have like tiny tubes of this in my handbag as well i carry it with me all the time it's so so good it it's so nourishing it's definitely a little bit better than vaseline it's thicker and it's more nourishing than vaseline but yeah i really like it and it comes in a convenient sort of tube form even if you have like eczema uh, you know on your skin if, you, if your skin is eczema prone this will definitely help smooth in those areas out uh, it's very very nice and nourishing if you have like any like really dry patches on your skin you can use this i do that i use this on my cuticles as well it just nourishes my cuticles really really well okay let's talk about hair care i haven't been using like too many products uh, for my hair care routine it's like I, I just keep it very very simple i don't complicate it if i complicate it i will not follow the hair care routine so keep it simple stupid so uh, the, I'll just start from the order in which I use these uh, when I take care of my hair like wash it and stuff initially I obviously use hair oil like every Indian girl uses uh, hair oil and uh, this is the one that I really really like I I kind of stopped using coconut oil on my hair it kind of you know I don't know it's just too heavy for my hair and uh, this is much more lightweight and the Bringaraj type oils I don't a, I don't get it here. Even if I get it, I couldn't use it because I get a headache from it. My head is like super sensitive. I get migraines easily. So I I don't use Bringraj oil. If you are not prone to migraines and you don't get headaches out of that oil, you can definitely use the Bringraj one. It's really, really great. I think I used the brand Sesha Ayurveda when I was in India. That's a really good brand for hair oil. This one is called the Miel, I guess. It's called Miel. I don't know. It comes in a dropper bottle. It's basically a rosemary uh, and mint, I guess. Yeah, it's rosemary, mint, scalp, hair strengthening oil. I, I use this on my roots. I don't like soak my roots with oil. I just use like enough amount of oil and I take time to massage it on my hair. Like I just do that motion to kind of like regulate blood circulation on my hair i do that and i use like just like the required amount of oil i don't drench my hair with a lot of oil so i i'm like halfway down in the bottle and i really really like it it's very nourishing uh, i don't know if it helps my hair grow or anything i don't know really but uh, i should use it more but uh, it's a very nice uh, massaging oil right before you wash your hair off i just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes otherwise i'll get a headache so that's how i've been using it really really like it i would like to try the shampoo as well um for shampoo i've been loving this uh, healthy scalp clarify and shine shampoo with pink grapefruit from neutrogena this is the bottle it's like such a cute bottle uh, this is actually my second bottle it's a very nice shampoo uh, it's a clarifying shampoo as it says if you have like oiled your hair so much and no other shampoo will get that oil uh, out of your hair uh, as good as this one so this is so good it just cleanses my hair so well i use this uh like one wash is like probably enough to get everything out of your hair but i just take a little bit and do a second wash as well just to be you know thorough but uh, yeah this is such a great shampoo but if i run out of this i would want to buy the miel uh shampoo and try that out as well but i would definitely go back to this at some point because i know it works it's such a great shampoo and it's so affordable as well you can get it on amazon and then for um, leave-in conditioner so if i don't use a leave-in conditioner i see some flakes on my uh, scalp uh, but yeah due to dryness but if i do use a leave-in conditioner that kind of provides some nourishment to my hair i guess and i don't get those flakes that much so uh, this is the leave-in conditioner it's like everything is drugstore i don't buy uh, high-end hair care products ever so this is the sheer moisture manuka honey yogurt hydrate repair multi-action leave-in conditioner so i 
it it basically comes in a spray bottle and i just spritz some onto my hair on my scalp as well and on my lengths as lengths as well but if i overuse this it kind of becomes like very sticky and you know uh, oily so just make sure to use the right amount of uh, leave-in conditioner this leave-in conditioner uh, particularly and it's gonna work so so well it just smoothens my hair this uh hair today i've used all of these products that i talked about and i use the leave-in conditioner and then i blow dried my hair and that's the effect of it like you can see it's like nice and shiny and you know smooth so coming to blow drying oh my god i love this tool this is the revlon something something blow dryer basically the one that looks like this it has a cord it's like a swivel cord it's so so easy to use and it has some controls i always use the lowest setting it has a high and a low and a cool setting so i use the low heat all the time i don't use high heat, heat that often i don't need it and uh, this is basically my go-to product when i want to kind of style my hair i can also curl my hair a little bit uh, but today i have just like straightened it uh, with this like blow dried it straight uh, this is so easy to use and it provides nice amount of volume if you can see like there is some amount of volume over here super easy to use very very effective and the best part is it's wide so you can use like large chunk of hair over this and you can try it like that so that's the best part uh, you can get it done like really really quickly it's super super quick uh, and make sure that your hair is 70 to 80 percent dry when you use this uh, that's the best way to use this i guess otherwise it's gonna like you know get caught between these bristles and your hair is gonna come out so just use it when your hair is 70 to 80 percent dry really love this my go-to product i don't use straighteners or curlers that often these days because you know this just gets the job done it's like more of a casual look it's not like pin straight which i'm not a big fan of i like this sort of a blow dried look which that product gives me it's awesome coming to our new category of uh, favorites which i've never included in my previous videos i just thought let me just share it with you guys so it's the lifestyle category and the first product is a wireless charger for my iphone and my airpods so you do have another charger that amazon sells for the iphone apple watch and the uh, airpods but i don't own an apple watch so i just got the phone and the uh, airpods charger it's super 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 useful i just like have to connect it leave it on there and then just like place my phone and my airpods on it's so 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 easy and um, two devices are charged at the same time so i have no complaints i really really like it i basically got it for my husband but he lost his airpods and i just took the device for myself so yeah it's such a great one if you're looking out for a wireless charger i can link it down below i'm gonna link all of the products whatever for whichever i can find links i'm gonna link it down below you can check that out and um yeah the second product is my kindle oh, i basically sleep with this i i have been reading a lot of books since last year last december i guess and uh, no not december i guess november for the past four months or so and uh, this has been so 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 useful uh, i really like this better than physical books because there you can like um have so many books and like especially when you travel you can just carry this and you have like a lot of options uh in this and you can like read whatever book you feel like reading at that particular time you don't have to think ahead of time which books you might want to read when you're traveling so this is this comes in handy and the second point is that when you click on a word it shows the meaning of the word how awesome is that and you can also like uh highlight some lines for yourself i i don't use it that much clicking on the word and like checking the meaning of the word is something that everybody uses i guess so it's so 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 easy i really like this uh kindle and me and my husband we both share one kindle we don't need separate kindles because we don't read at the same time most like most of the time we just like when i read he does something else when he reads I do something else so we don't need two kindles one is what we share uh, so really really recommend uh, i'm not sure what the uh, 
it's not like the latest one i guess it's the one before that it looks like this it's it's definitely not the latest one and the control is like right here to lock it and stuff right below so it's not the latest one if i find the model or something i'll just leave it on the screen somewhere and uh, the next one is um coffee related so um we've been trying a lot of coffee powders uh, we usually use ground coffee and um, we used to buy a lot of starbucks caramel that that's my favorite flavor in coffee caramel is my favorite flavor in everything i guess so uh we, we used to buy a lot of starbucks and we just wanted to give something else a shot so we got this one this is the duncan caramel me crazy artificially flavored ground coffee this is so good um i thought starbucks caramel was the best but i really like this one as well it's it's really really good the flavor is so nice and smells like the flavor of caramel is so so nice and strong in this which i really like and the creamer my all time favorite creamer i've tried the starbucks creamer i've cr tried other creamers like inter delight or something i don't know like all the popular ones but this is my favorite it doesn't even have milk it's like plant based it doesn't have milk uh but i really like it it does contain sugar but i don't care this is so good i just use a little bit of this in my coffee and it tastes so so good smells so good and i highly recommend the flavor caramel macchiato uh that's like the best one because i like caramel but you can try vanilla as well that's nice too um with that being said let's talk about a coffee mug that i have been constantly using i basically buy a lot of coffee mugs and i keep switching between them i use one mug a different mug every day but uh, ever since i found this i've been using this a lot more than my other mugs this was basically gifted to me by my sister in law and uh, this is from the brand starbucks uh, i went to the store with her and i picked it out myself and sh she just bought me this it's such a pretty mug it's like the perfect size it's not too large i drink maximum of 10 ounces of coffee and this is perfect for it I generally drink like either 10 ounces or 8 ounces and this is so nice the size is like really nice it's not too large and it's not too like super wide that your coffee will you know be, it it cools down faster it just remains hot in this mug uh, it's nice and sturdy the handle is also nice uh, so it also looks pretty i really really like the color as well uh, so yeah my favorite mug at the moment now we come to the last and my most used items for the past few months i guess uh it's a water bottle this is from amazon you might have seen these sorts of bottles that has like these a uh, time and you also have a measure of the ml or ounces as these people you know measure stuff so you also have a ml this is like a 900 ml bottle almost like 1 liter uh such a nice one it also has like a straw type of thing if you press this it comes out and this is like so nice very sturdy this plastic is bpa free you also have a handle if you want to carry it around and uh such a nice sturdy bottle i love it i use it every day it's awesome and i've been talking for like 20 25 minutes straight i guess and i need a sip of water that was good so we come to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope i make more videos and i be consistent in this channel i really really like creating videos uh but I feel like I keep losing the motivation to do it. I don't really find the time to do it. So I would like to plan more efficiently and make more nice videos uh, for you guys. If you have any suggestions uh, for what me videos uh, you want me to make, please leave them down in the comment section. That being said, I'll see you in my next one. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up. Please share, comment and also Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So yeah, uh, I'll see you uh, in my next video. Until then, it's take care. Tata, bye bye from Janni Balaji.